Hi, welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner and this is Transaction by Paul Fowler. Before we do this, uh, this is not my usual camera. I've borrowed one, so if the sound's rubbish and it looks rubbish, it's not because of the camera, it's because I don't know how to use it, because uh, mine's in being fixed. So apologies for that, but maybe it'll turn out all right. Let's see. Uh, so let's like and subscribe. Let's all like and subscribe. Didn't mean to say let's like and subscribe then, uh, but we, sh we must. Uh, press the little bell icon so you know when I do and don't go live. I schedule live um, streams every Thursday at five o'clock UK time, but sometimes they can't happen because of gigs and stuff, because I'm a professional magician. Uh, and I also am a professional magic teacher because I have an online school resource program membership site with over 800 videos on it, live sessions every week. We had Paul Fowler on last night, so it's quite apt that I'm reviewing Transaction by Paul Fowler, and all of those are uploaded, and there's 110 of them so far, or more, um, plus hundreds and hundreds of other videos on cards, coins, ropes, everything. Right, This the reason I had Paul Fowler on the course to come on and talk about it is because I've been really impressed with the stuff he's brought out. Paul is a worker, and he, he adapts existing ideas to a modern or an audience that suits him or a performance that suits him. And I really like it. And with, with the two things that I've looked at from Paul, uh, the 1914 put out overdraft, that was something I saw and thought, yeah, it looks okay, credit cards. And then when I played with it, I realized that there was quite a lot of potential in it. And actually, I really like it now. It's direct, it's simple, it can, can be quick. Um, and we can't use banknotes as much anymore because many people haven't got them on them. Uh, so I've been using that and that's in my in my Orphic wallet here, no affiliation, it genuinely is, I've been walking around with this. So, as is, transaction. Transaction was the same thing. I saw this and I kind of went, yeah, the receipts, it's, it looks okay, it's kind of a book test, but there's only a few pages really, is it gonna play? And again, I was very much mistaken. That was only my initial thoughts when I saw it, when I actually saw the routine and went into doing it and performed it at the time of recording this i have not got performance footage a friend of mine recorded me doing it the other day and it didn't record so i'm gutted um but you have to take my word for it again i like this because i like it there's no affiliation on this i know i don't know why i keep saying that i think it's because a few people have said to me you know oh you must be you know you must be biased and that and i don't know paul at all so you know this is straight off the uh off of me playing with it so this is a book test with receipts. What? One, is it one pound forty-five? Oh you think it's a fish? <laughs> like bait fish? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you, you can give people five receipts or four or one or and whatever many you want to do. But I quite like the five things. I like the messiness of it. I quite like the fact that you know they take anyone, they can have a really good look at them. And you say, uh, take any one and look at any item on any of the receipts. And you go from there and you tell them not only what item they are looking at, but also the price of that item. And that price thing is really important with this, I think. It, it makes it different because you can give them the price first and then the item. And it creates more deception around the method. Now, this is based on a method that a lot of people will know who do book tests. But it does have that extra bit of deception. So the method you use which some of you will know also has a couple of other steps in it, which you wouldn't know necessarily, which again, add more to this. So it, it gives the spectator less of a place to go with trying to find that method. Not that they do anyway with the original, but it's nice that Paul's kind of developed this extra idea on top of this to get the price of the item. So that's what it is. People are gonna to wanna to know, is it got memory work and is it easy? It's easy and as with a lot of things, you can use a crib meaning something to aid your memory, something that you can have a look at, basically, that means you don't have to remember anything, or you can do the memory bit of it. I will say the memory part is way easier than you think it's going to be. And we were talking about this last night. You look at that and go, oh, I've got to remember all that. And then, weirdly, within, you know, a few minutes, I was, and he said, a lot of people have said to me, they watched it um, download, and by the end of it, they knew kind of half, and I did. I knew kind of the first 10 that I needed to know. Um, things and it's very intuitive it makes sense it's not random things you've got to remember and you will find that very easy but when i thought i find out that there's a crib there's something to look at 
to it. I never, I don't like doing that. I, I don't like to have to kind of look away, but there is a method built into this, which it allows you to look at it and it's, you've got all the time in the world. It's part of the routining. And I think it's really clever. And I've done it with the crib a few times, you know, when I just really wanted to get it right. But you're not kind of peeking at something you're not meant to be looking at. It's all there. That's all I'll say. It's going to be not going to make sense to a lot of people, but I will say that until you've got that memory down, or even if you don't want to, you're going to have an effect that plays just as strong to the spectators. He's got a lovely presentation, which again is all part of that, when he's writing something down as that they you're doing the routine. And you the gag is the gag is that okay they don't tell you what it is go right, think about it here it is the barcode of that thing and they go yeah right then you go look if you look in it you can see the price i can see the price i've learned to do it and and he tells them the price and then he goes if you look at it this angle or whatever you can see the the item and you tell them the item and it completely freaks them out because they think it's just a gag and all this stuff has happened so they don't really remember what they've done up to that now, on process, someone asked last night on, on, last night on my live session, is there a lot of process for the spectator to go through? And there isn't. They don't even have to remember anything because they've got the receipts in front of them. So they haven't got to remember a word that they might have looked at five minutes ago. And again, I'm not saying that's a problem, but just so you know, they don't. They, it's very easy spectator management. There are a couple of bits of scripting that are handy. So look at the first one, you know, tell them exactly what to look at. But And also, look, so you don't forget it, look at it again. All that stuff, so really easy on that part as well. Now afterwards, if you are worried, you do get some non-gimmicked bits to give to them. You don't need it. I've had people really look at these and not seen anything. Um, and you do get a Z-Fold wallet that you can use again for routining as well, which is very handy. On the design of these receipts, which is so important, they look and feel like real receipts. Now, Apparently, some people have said, oh, why don't you do Tyvek? It's non-terrible. You would know straight away. Receipts, as Paul says, are things that are handled every single day. So you look at a fake one, you're going to know. The same with the credit cards in Overdraft. They put a lot of work into making sure the chips were proper chips and they looked real. And, you know, at a glance or even a good look, you're not going to think there's so many banks around now. You're not, and this isn't a, an Overdraft review, but you know what I mean. But with, with this as well, again, these are the English ones. So it's Asda, Sainsbury's. It, there's, I've even looked at the items and there's clever little things in there as well that you think, oh, that really is a nice touch. There, there's going to be no um, no worries with, with people, again, thinking they're, f they're fake receipts. And they haven't got, you know, some receipts have got that um, ink on that if you fold them too much, if you have to save receipts for your account and you open them up after a week and there's nothing written on them because they kind of bleed off, that doesn't happen either. So I haven't really got anything negative to say. What I will say is this has played way stronger than I thought. I thought it was going to play strong because I could see it was a good effect, but it really is getting that sort of freaked out mentalism response that so many of us know when we perform mentalism routines. You get lots of different routines. I think the, the main one's great. The, the bit with the barcode is great, or you can write it down. You can do it without any writing at all or looking at anything. Again, you're going to need that memory work for that. Uh, but that's right. It's got a routine using your phone, the doodle on your phone, in case you don't want to do it on a bit of paper. But I think for, for an everyday carry, again, if you don't want to carry, the, he even tells you how to fold them. If you don't want to carry all of the five, which I do actually, and I've got you know, in here, um, you can just take one or two and it's still going to play really strong. I think it's a really, really cool thing. I, again, can't see any problems with it at all unless it's not your sort of routine. But uh, that's transaction by Paul Fowler. I think it's a corker. I really do. It's hidden treasure, this. I hadn't really heard of it. It's brought out through Saturn Magic. And I think uh, you should know about it because I think it'd be, the, the method's really, really clever. So there you go. Have a good one. Uh, like and subscribe. Hit the links below if you want to buy it. Uh, if you go to Blackpool and you watch this before Blackpool, hopefully see you there. And uh, I think Paul will be there as too on the 1914 stand. And uh, go and check out onlinemagic.co. Have a great one. Cheers.